Quick update today, uh, we're gonna float it. Doesn't quite float exactly where I want it, but um, we will get there. Some mods to come on there. I broke my windscreen. One of those days, but uh, let's get into it. How you going guys? Well, back at it. Float test this weekend. So uh, we're just doing a few bits and pieces, making sure that uh, it's all sealed up. I'm going to be putting some sticky pads down just so I don't slip because I'm expecting a bit of water to get up onto um, the top of these sponsons here. So we'll get these in. And uh, I've got the engine in, just sitting in there at the moment, just for weight and uh, intercooler up front too. So nice, uh, decent size intercooler there for the turbo. I've got a GT28 turbo. Uh, that's going to go on the front in the middle, just above the intercooler. The engine itself actually looks like it's a little bit high, but the wings on this are actually, this is the bottom of the wing, so the wing is actually up here. Um, so it's actually uh, covering most of that engine um, in a sense. So uh, it'll look more in propor proportion once the wings go on. So that's why it looks a bit... Um, Looks a bit high, but uh, it should be all right. Um, that's it done. So they uh, they come up all right. So there's the engine look again. Uh, I will be doing an engine build log uh, of this with um, how I do everything from uh, the ECU computer down to the turbo uh, to the exhaust. So that'll be coming up soon. So yeah, the trailer I'm picking up tomorrow is a mate's trailer borrowing it. It's just a flatbed trailer. We'll fit it up on there. I'm actually gonna make a custom trailer for this because both wings will fold back on themselves and uh, basically hinge at the strut. So they'll go back over, which is why I've got the tail the way it is. So you can see I've got um, lower struts not ones up the top and the reason for that is because the uh, wing is actually gonna swing back and uh, clear the top of that tail so that's the reason for that the whole point and idea of this is wings fold in five minutes on a custom built trailer reverse it down a boat ramp chuck it in wings out and take off so should be fun Okay, so just got back. I've just been to Bunnings and raided their sandbags. So uh, I've got 300 kilos. So it should be enough, plus myself, um, to load it up. So yeah, we, we got a few. Poor Michelle's cars, fully loaded with sand. But uh, that'll, that'll take us up to um, gross weight with myself as well um, that's basically allowing now for wings so I'm gonna lay uh, the sand in the sections where the wings will go uh, I've got the motor on so I don't need to account for that there's a little bit of weight in the motor extra to go on with the gearbox but I'll account for that um, basically I, um, I should have plenty and if I really want to, I can 
jump in it, get someone else to jump in it too, and try and load it, we'll really load it up. But, but yeah, it's getting closer. Take two, we, um, we went to the other boat ramp, but there was actually no water at all. We're ch ch checking this one out, see if we can, um, got some water there by the looks. All right, so third time lucky. Uh, we ended up coming here to the beach. Uh, we can drive on the, onto the beach here and actually uh, launch it. So we're actually going to pull it off the tra trailer here and uh, push it down, push it into the water. Bung in, check.
Okay, so we've just loaded it with uh, 300 kilos of sandbag. As you can see, we've got the wheels up. So front wheels completely out of the water. Obviously there'll be a bit more weight up front here when people are sitting in it. But um, for testing, we know it floats. What do you reckon? Floats my too. What do you reckon for that, Josh? It's still a little nose, uh, tail heavy, isn't it? Put a bit of ballast in there. What I mean, and once you're in and you, taken off, if you raise that up, it looks like you're going to be. It looks like landing out of shoot. Yeah. Like it's going to land right on the back of the step. Yeah, you? yeah. And when it's on the step, obviously those wheels will be out the water. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks all right. Those um, sponsons are actually. They're, it's going to lift you up straight away. Straight away, it'll lift up out the water. It'll get the wheels up out. But that's the, that's with the CG right on the CG. So I'm going to have a forward moment on that too. So it's going to be a little bit. So we, uh, we popped the um, screen, the gear actually pushed up this here. 
and uh, cracked it. It wasn't, I haven't fixed it in place, so it actually should be in the middle. But we will learn. <laughs> Learn from the mistake. Oh well. It's only a screen. Yeah. I'm gonna get the car out. Oh. Okay, so successful uh, morning. Uh, we at least uh, got it in, got it floated. I broke the um, windshield, but that was purely because I um, forgot to actually fix down this beam in here, and I'll show you. You can see down in there what happened is as that gear came up it actually pushed and lifted this center beam uh, because it wasn't centered because I hadn't fixed it so uh, so next time I uh, better make sure it's fixed but uh, pretty successful I've got to give this a bit of a wash out drain it out and uh, put it away yeah so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna draw it up on uh, CAD I'm actually gonna um, do a, a step here like uh, um, a bit like the sponson at the front there but at the back which is gonna help me uh, step up onto it when it's in the water I can step on it and step up onto here do an engine check pre-flight check and everything if it's sitting in the water so it's probably going to be better in the long run, um, but what it's going to also do is give me a lot more uh, buoyancy just around this point here, which will help uh, lift this tail up out of the water a little bit more because I want it, I just want it that little bit more. I wasn't quite happy with where it was sitting, so um, we will uh, we'll get onto that. So. Okay, so that's it guys. We will uh, catch you on the next one, one step closer.